Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is take the NPC that I made in yesterday's tutorial and add a little bit of dialogue to him. So I'll just, if, to begin with, I'll just demonstrate opening an ESP because it is exactly the same as uh, what you'd expect if you've had any experience at all with Gek or Creation Kit. So just click your master file, click your ESP, this is the one we made yesterday, set active file and OK. OK, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to character voice type and we're going to create a unique voice type for our NPC. And this will just serve to uh, make sure he doesn't say any of the default dialogue and we're only getting sort of what we've created. So I'm just going to right click new and you can straight away input your ID. So I'm going to give him seven voice type and he's a male so leave male. And we're going to find the NPC that we made last time which was said an NPC and we are going to change his voice type from male even toned from Garrus to be said in voice type uh, we are going to then check this box here unique which we will be using later on uh, when we create the dialogue and then we will go to his factions and take him out of both of these factions so now he's completely he's a completely isolated uh, NPC. He won't say any of the default dialogue, so we can go about creating our own for him. So you want to go to character quest and right click new, and we'll give him an ID. So sudden dialogue quest, I'll call it. Doesn't need a quest name. And normally for priority, I give 55, but a lot of the uh, default in-game ones give 20. I actually don't think it matters with. Uh, if we've just got one quest for the NPC's dialogue and he's a unique NPC, I don't think it really matters. So we have to hit OK to get all the options available to us. Then when we double click again, we've now got um, all of this. So we're going to want to go to, first of all, um, quest aliases. And this is where the unique thing is, because we're going to be cr creating a an alias, so a way to reference our NPC essentially uh, so we're going to do a new reference alias and um, name it um, said NPC uh, alias I guess had to take a brief pause for it, uh, I forgot what I was doing for a second we're supposed to go to unique actor and this is where we checked him unique last time because we are selecting a unique actor and we should be able to find said an NPC here. Oh, I clicked Sean, that's not right. There we go. Said an NPC, and we should just be able to hit OK, and that works. And what this will serve as is this is kind of like putting the get his ID thing in the old get, so only this NPC will say it. When we come to set up a scene, we will choose this NPC alias to be the one speaking in the scene, so then he will say all the dialogue. So we'll go, we'll go to scenes here and we're going to create a whole new scene. So I'm going to call it Seddon Scene 01 and hit OK. And then I'm going to check this uh, player dialogue thing. I'm glad I have to actually click on it first. And then check this player dialogue thing and all this stuff, stuff shows up. So first of all we're going to right click New Actor. And we'll have Seddon NPC Alias which is the alias we created earlier. And this will now come up start greeting so this will be what the NPC will say when we first approach him so um, new greeting topic ID so we need to create a greeting topic for it uh, greeting okay and all this comes up and we don't need a prompt we just need a response hello I'm an NP an NOC an NPC ignore the spelling mistake and now this has popped up with all our thing and we don't need any conditions because we've already got it so that um, said an NPC is saying it though it's slightly not showing up there for some reason so now we're going to want to right click add phase at end so you get it's all showing up now said an NPC alias and what this will do is after this the way a conversation works is it has a start phase and then it advances along as many phases as you've added until it gets to the end so I'm just going to do a really simple one phase dialogue so he'll say one thing you, it'll come up, you'll have one set of choices and then it ends so we're going to right click and then new action 
and we're going to want player dialogue. So this has brought up this action one. Now all this will come up, but I'm just going to click out of it so we can get to this here. And this is the, it's a dead easy way to edit your dialogue. You've got the stuff the player will say and the stuff the NPC will say in response. And it's dead easy. We don't even really have to bother conditioning it because it's already done here because player NPC is already done. So it has these things, positive response, negative response, neutral response, question response. If this, I mean, really, if they, those are kind of, I guess, there must be prompts to the, the developers if a positive one always appears in this part of the map and the negative one always appears down here, whatever order it is. So positive response, a prompt, this will be what shows up for the player to say. So, you know, hates newspapers. No, um, but I'm just going to put the full response in so that people will know what to say. What is your name? And then response text. So this is what the player will actually say. Now the problem is we've got a voice protagonist, so the player is going to stay utterly silent. So, I mean, your best bet would be if you to try and figure out dialogue that already exists in the game and use it if you want the player to be voiced, or you could cut something together out of Audacity or something like that. But um, for the purposes of this, I'm going to leave everybody quiet. What is your name? Uh, okay. Okay. And the NPC will give his response over here. Uh, so we don't need a prompt because this is the NPC response. My name is... Seddon4494. Almost put my actual name in then instead of Seddon4494. Okay. Okay. And then negative response. Uh, I think of something to say. Um, fuck you. That's pretty negative. Duck you. I mean, it's going to be. Com wait. Sorry. Uh, fuck uh, you. That's what the player will say. I almost put the NPC response dialogue in there then. Okay, okay. And then the NPC response dialogue doesn't need a prompt. We're going to type in. Yeah? Fuck you too. Okay. Ignore. Okay. Okay, and then a neutral response. We've just got to think of stuff to say. Um, How are you today? For God's sake. Uh, response text, how are you today? Okay, okay. Uh, oh, alright, thanks. Question mark, no, he knows. And then question response again, it doesn't really have to be a question, because this is going to be something quite, uh, let's just give a question anyway. Uh, prompt, where am I? Where am I? I one day I'll learn to type without making stupid mistakes. You're right here because he's not very helpful. This NPC. And when we hit OK, we'll see all the stuff that we typed in here appearing. Uh, what is your name? My name is seven four four nine four. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you too. How are you today? I'm all right. Where am I? You're right here. And then when this happens when he said one of these things it will just end but if you want it to go back and return to phase one we can right click add phase at end so we've added phase two so now when you say that it will go on to phase two and if we add action and go to start scene um, right click new we're going to select set in scene one and no phase has come up oh I know why that's doing that we're going to have to name our phase, um, so we'll call it uh, just seven phase 01, and we can just hit OK, so now phase seven phase 01, so we can click and drag down here, uh, go back, seven scene 01, oh. okay, so I, I uh, clicked out for a second then, because uh, it, it, nothing was showing up, but the reason nothing was showing up is I just had to after I edited the name of my scene, I just clicked OK and then jumped straight back in and it, would, it had already selected the correct uh, thing. Scene, set and scene 01, start phase, set and phase 01, and doesn't need any conditions. So 
start phase two, end phase two, that's all fine. So now what will happen is we'll say one of these things and it will just jump straight back. And I'm just going to drop out again for a second and run through, uh, just go for, click through all the different things and check I've done everything right, but that should be it for a basic uh, one-line conversation. Okay, there's one little thing I did forget to do. Um, I've gone over to this MISC section here I'm going to double click hello I'm an NPC and um, this has come up, this is our greeting that we made before we need to go forced alias said an NPC alias okay so that this greeting is definitely being used by uh, the right NPC because when I loaded up Laura my character was saying uh, hello I'm an NPC despite the fact that it's very clearly conditioned to work for this NPC for some reason Laura said it instead of uh, instead of him but uh, hopefully that should be done. I'll say that if we could just try doing a get his ID condition to make it absolutely certain that only he says it. Just make it absolutely certain. Okay, and now I'm going to go into the game and hopefully it'll work. Okay, there is the 749 for NPC. And he's saying his dialogue. Hopefully we will go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey there. Hello, I'm an NPC. That's better, yay. Okay, um, where am I? You're right here. How are you today? I'm alright, thanks. Fuck you. Eh, fuck you too. What's your name? My name is 74494. Hooray, and now we're, I've realised we are actually trapped in this dialogue. Uh, I should have, I forgot to add any kind of end condition to it, which I'll, I'll go back in the get and demonstrate how to end uh, dialogue. Alright, I'm back, um, and we're going to add a little end condition. I should really write down everything I need to do uh, before I do it, but we're going to go back to uh, action one. And we're going to have the end condition be fuck you. So go to yeah, fuck you too. And we're just going to click end running scene. Okay, okay. And see it says end there and that's done. So I don't think I really need to demonstrate that happening. Uh, you can just take me at my word that that works. Um, and that is uh, basic uh, dialogue, really. It, it worked perfectly well, I think, when I demonstrated it. And next time I will demonstrate how to have... Um, sort of a multiple multiple different random responses for a thing and maybe on hat then go on to have like a multi phase conversation so A leads to B leads to C, phase one leads to phase two, leads to phase three. But for now that is the absolute basics of conversation and perhaps people can uh, be more of give it some uh, basis for people to people have got a good starting point here and they can go off and if you've understood all this, do your own stuff. So uh, hopefully that was uh, useful. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.